In 2006, Pluto was reclassified by NASA as a dwarf planet, so limiting the number of known planets in our solar system down to eight. This was a decision that upset many within the astronomical community, with many supporting its case to be reassigned planetary status. However, ninth planet enthusiasts may find hope in looking beyond Pluto, as much further outside of our solar system, there may be something we have yet to discover that could redefine everything we thought we knew about our astronomical neighbourhood. Since 2004, scientists have been observing unexplained phenomena within Neptune's local Kuiper belt, and in 2016, a simulation at the California Institute of Technology gave rise to a theory that could change everything. With so few explanations and such massive scientific significance if true, even NASA is now preparing for the possibility of an undiscovered ninth planet outside our solar system. However, this hypothetical celestial body has been evading us for two years now, and even today it's still all to play for as mankind continues to search for the elusive superplanet, currently known as Planet X. The Kuiper Belt is an orbital disk of debris, ice and rock located just outside Neptune's orbit at around 50 astronomical units from the Sun, so that's 50 times further than the distance Earth orbits from the Sun. It is relatively similar in structure to the more commonly known Asteroid Belt located in our solar system but is over 200 times as large. The belt is also home to three known classified dwarf planets being Pluto, Halmir and Makemake. It is believed that some of Neptune's and Saturn's moons could potentially have originated from this region too. Since 2004 however, strange occurrences within the Kuiper Belt have been being picked up by scientists. Debris from the belt has been recorded moving in strange, systematic ways well off course from the orbit of the Kuiper Belt's known disk orbit. For around a decade, nobody could figure out what was pulling this debris off course, although it had to be something fairly substantial. In 2014, astronomers Chadwick Tredrilo and Scott Shepard noticed orbital irregularities in the dwarf planet of Sedna, another dwarf planet on the outskirts of our solar system. Such irregularities added to the mystery of what was pulling objects off course on this side of the solar system, but the only likely explanation was that there was a large object located outside of our solar system that was not only pulling the debris off course, but keeping it in some sort of orbital pattern. The idea that this could be some sort of celestial body was proposed, but if this was a planet then it couldn't have been a known planet. We have eight planets in our solar system, and though a ninth wouldn't be impossible it would raise more questions than answers. Where is it, and why haven't we found it yet? Another theory was put forward that this may be a natural phenomenon, and that the Kuiper Belt could have been acting upon itself, but alas, this was deemed to be scientifically impossible. Whatever the explanation, there was most definitely something beyond the edge of our solar system. On January the 20th, 2016, scientists from the California Institute of Technology announced that they may have found solid evidence for a ninth planet beyond the orbit of Pluto, nicknamed Planet X. That same day, an article was published by the same team in the astronomical journal detailing the possibility. They claimed they had run numerous simulations and surveyed the Kuiper Belt objects where the offset was taking place, and that a ninth planet was the only theory that was mathematically possible for the behaviour exhibited. So, what do we know about Planet X given the nature of its effect on our solar system? Well, for the gravitational pull this planet is exhibiting, it would have to be around 10 times the mass of Earth, and is expected to be roughly the size of Neptune or slightly smaller. With an atmosphere comprising mostly of hydrogen and helium, the sheer distance of this planet's orbit is alarming, with it estimated to be orbiting our Sun at around 20 times the distance of Neptune and 5 times further than Pluto. Its total orbit was measured at approximately 600 astronomical units, or around 60 billion miles from the Sun. This added some clarity as to why we may have not been able to observe this mysterious planet yet. Being so far away, it would be simply too dim to be picked up by an oblivious observer, and we only have a select few telescopes on Earth that could view such a distance with any great detail. A superplanet of this kind, orbiting so far away from our Sun would take a long time, estimated at around 15,000 Earth years to complete one circle of the Sun. Compare this to the 12 years it would take Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar neighbourhood. This enormous orbit would explain why, over the last decade, the pattern has been relatively unchanged, as a superplanet orbiting at such distance would be better aligned with this part of the Kuiper Belt for longer. Because of its enormous orbital offset, it is likely a planet that was flung out of our solar system over a few hundred million years ago, either by a cataclysmic event or by a close encounter with a larger planet, most likely Jupiter. Regardless, its orbit would not be nearly circular, and this is what is theorised by the team at the California Institute to be pulling the debris out of the Kuiper Belt off course this way. With simulation numbers being rigorously proven and other theories being unlikely, Konstantin Batagin claimed in a television interview that, that his team had what he claimed to be solid proof that Planet X did exist and was indeed responsible. 
Another theory was later put forward, proposing that this super planet could be responsible for the so far unexplained tilt our sun has. Everything in our solar system rotates on a similar plane, but based on our angle, we are being offset by about 6 degrees from some unknown force, and though this is very early days to be making such assumptions, some believe Planet X may be responsible for this too. While the planetary theory was becoming more and more likely, we cannot rule out a handful of other explanations. Some scientists have pointed out that the results of the Outer Solar System Survey, whose data was used for the simulation, was subject to bias, as it observed eight trans-Neptunian objects with axes over 150 astronomical units. Some scientists believe if a larger area was surveyed over time, this phenomenon might begin to disappear. Scientists Anne-Marie Magadan and Michael McCaw proposed the idea that this offset could be, in fact, the cause of another, larger, previously undiscovered massive belt of objects, similar in structure to the Kuiper Belt, but much larger. If Planet 9 is capable of falling into the Sun's gravitational range of 600 astronomical units, then an undiscovered belt beyond the orbit of Pluto is plausible, though scientist Mike Brown noted that current surveys and simulations do not support this theory, as the behaviour is more characterised to a single large object, and the time period required for the formation of such a described belt will be well over a billion years, which is unlikely. Three other scientists propose that this offset might be the cause of not one, but four massive objects between 150 and 250 astronomical units from our Sun, though they failed to specify what the most distant object might be. In truth, with scientific analysis, it is looking more and more likely, if not inevitable, that Planet Night is indeed the answer, but as is the case with any previously unheard of event in our solar system, we cannot rule out other plausible theories. Ironically, despite an effort to get Planet Nine into the public conscience by 20 astronomical organisations, the Ninth Planet theory has become somewhat of a conspiracy theory over the last two years with a lot of misinformation, with NASA accused of attempting to cover it up. However, even they joined the global effort to get citizen scientists involved in the cause. Multiple organisations around the world encourage people to join the hunt, analysing images along the predicted orbit path for Planet Line, and NASA even hoped to have discovered it by mid-2017. In April 2017, scientists at the Siding Spring Observatory flagged four potential objects spotted by their SkyMapper telescope for further analysis, selecting from a vast array of over 60,000 participants. By October 2017, Batagen claimed that there was at least five different lines of proof to suggest this planet is out there somewhere, but by the end of 2017, our nearest neighbour still remained in the dark. Unfortunately, there's such a huge area to cover and so little light to illuminate Planet X that, despite the global effort, finding it may be more difficult than first suspected. Regardless, Batagen and his peers are convinced this is the answer, and their rigorous testing suggests a massive celestial body is the answer for the decade-long mystery observed in the Kuiper Belt. The only stage left is to find evidence. Scientists believe we do possess telescopes that could theoretically be able to pick it up, but a more realistic time frame may be within the next two to five years for its potential discovery. The fact of the matter is, all other theories are flawed, and if there are more plausible explanations, we have yet to hypothesise it. Simply put, if it is something else, we have no idea what. All this does go to reiterate the humbling fact of just how little we know about our own solar neighbourhood, and lends perspective to just how vast space is, and even the local area around us is. So what next? Well, we will continue to search the skies for this rogue planet, and with over 5 million submissions of potential objects in Australia alone, our global effort is not short of things to consider. NASA, who have now created a web page acknowledging the hypothetical planet's existence, are confident that it cannot hide much longer, as someone on Earth, perhaps a citizen, will discover it soon. The search will take place using the world's most advanced powerful telescopes and will continue to search it in its predicted orbit path. The day it is discovered will be a historic day in astronomy, and subsequently the lucky person who stumbled across it will be given the opportunity to name their finding. Currently it is known as Planet 9 or Planet X, but once its discoverer chooses a new name it will be approved or denied by the International Astronomical Union. Planets, in our solar system at least, are usually named after Roman mythological gods, with Greek interpretations of those gods being more commonplace among moons. So what are the potential names? Well, it's likely fans of the fictional series Star Trek will want the new arrival to be named Vulcan, after the Roman god of volcanoes and the forge. Internet conspiracy theorists and doomsday believers have been calling this planet Nibiru, the supposed planetary object that doomsday folklore says will hit Earth and destroy us in the 21st century. Other potential unclaimed Roman god names that could fit include Minerva, Liber and Quirinius as part of one of the triad groups. Minerva is, in fact, the gender balanced equivalent of Neptune, something Planet Nine has been likened to. There are many other cool potential names for gods, Orcus, Genius, Diana, Tellus, and the list goes on, but it will be up to the person who discovers the elusive planet to pick such a name. For the time being, all we can do is hope, wait, and look to the stars. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you did enjoy this episode. Tune in soon when we'll be looking at the Great Void, the largest object in the universe and also the wonderful new dwarf planet discovery that could be a solar system hotspot for extraterrestrial life. Until then, take care and remember to reach for the stars.